What's up guys? I'm back with another tutorial video. Uh, this time I'm gonna be doing like a Parker, Digicore, Glitchcore, like Lou, I don't know. Something like more synthy compared to the last one. So once again, I dropped a new kit. Uh, that's another Banger Johnny version three. And I'm gonna be using sound only, I'm only gonna be using sounds from the kit. So you can follow along if you go cop that right now. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is pull up Serum, probably lead one. And then we're gonna lay down like a, a melody slash like intro right here. So I usually start with like a major chord and do kind of an ARP thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and paste this and then change the root note down here. Now, send this to a channel. Let's see, and then we can just throw on some like random effects. I don't know, it doesn't really matter to be honest, just to make it sound a little cooler. But I'm gonna throw on Bit Crusher. I'm gonna throw on a EQ. The classic just filterizer thingy. Just automate this thing here and half time. Throw this effect on. Let's see. Now we got the main mal down. Let's add a bass preset. So I think we're gonna use, let's see what we got here. No. Sub. Let's see. So let's add the bass to. Let's make the bass come in at uh, nine here, and it'll just follow the root notes of the uh, the synthy sound. Cool. Let's also add like a pad just to fill it out a bit. It sounds a little like empty right now. Cool. Let's see. That actually might work. this in a different pattern oh, there you go maybe throw like a chorus on it as well yeah there we go oh yeah another thing we do to the pluck is sometimes I like to pan it uh, ear to ear just to make give it like I don't know like a stereo effect well, yeah we'll add this clap in we'll add that filter effect again I think it works really well with this clap and then we'll add this drum up here Let's also add some hi hats just to fill up the drums a little bit. We can just do the two, the classic two-step pattern because we're too freaking lazy to make a proper hi hat pattern. So yeah. Oh, there we go. Drums, I'm not gonna lie. Different loop. Let's try this one, maybe. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Um. Let's add. Let's see. I think we have. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, this effect here. It's not really an effect, it's more of a one-shot. Um, 
then this effect gives it like the uh I don't know, it just makes it more interesting to listen to in my opinion. So we're gonna add it here to change it up because we don't want like the same melodies playing from nine to 17 and 17 to 25. So we're gonna add something to change that up. Let's see. So we got the so basically this is gonna be the intro and then right around 25 we'll cut it halfway through 24 to 25 and then add a fill and we'll do the drop from 25 on. So for the fill, I think let's use this one, pretty basic, but I think it works pretty well. Okay. Let's just copy this hi-hat pattern. Let's grab a snare. So for the snare, we're gonna use Let's use this one. I think we'll use like a pretty nah. Let's try. Let's use a different kick. Copy and paste this. So let's find a bass. I think we're gonna layer the same sub bass we used uh, in the intro. So I'm just gonna copy that with like a, a bass with some more high end. And then usually I just get to make the bass follow the kicks. Oh, let's grab a preset. Cut out some low end of the uh, like this bass to leave space for the uh, sub bass in the uh, mix. And then do the same thing for the sub, just cut out the low end. But there's really much here to begin with, so that's good. Next, we're gonna grab the chords preset in my serum bank. And then basically, we can copy the uh, chords from the intro and throw them on here and just make it like the same, just make it follow the bass pretty much. They're the same pattern as the bass. Cool, let's EQ this a bit. Let's see what the is. Let's cool, so we got like the, kind of like the bass or like the foundations down for the drop. So what we're gonna do next is we could add the melody back. Copy paste that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a fruity balance and then just automate the volume of the melody we made earlier. Copy and paste this automation clip for the drop. We'll also automate the, the filter effect we had. Next we'll add the effects over again. 
Also add this riser effect. effect in as well cool so we basically have the entire track down once again the pro johnny strat to finish the track once you have it half done you just copy and paste it there we go okay so now we got the uh entire track finished but we're missing one thing and of course that's the classic that's another banger johnny tag spam so let's just throw this bad boy in and there we go the beat is complete let's run it So there you guys have it. This is my tutorial on how to make a uh, glitchcore Parker type beat. Make sure you guys go cop the drum kit, go buy some beats, and like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Damn, 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 you got a big dick, Julie. Plug myself, I can't go to sleep. Be my dick, yeah, I be my knee. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know it's going hard. No, it's going hard, damn, my cock is very hard. What? Come in my sauce, come in my sauce, come in my sauce. Come in my sauce, come in my sauce, come in my sauce. Come in my sauce. You got a big dick, Johnny.